Hey guys, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis on server 68. So I had a request from a subscriber to do a video on how to obtain gems for free in the game or various other ways. Basically all the ways that you can get them. I'll give you the ways that will cost you money and I'll give you the ways that are free. And obviously anything that costs money in the game is kind of a way to speed up... Uh, your progress in the game. So just waiting to join this rally here. But uh, basically gems are the currency of the game. They're the most important thing in the game. You can see how many you have right here in the top corner. And then in your items, you'll have many more, right? So I'm actually saving up. I want to get 2.5 million of them because I really want to upgrade this sub to gold my internal sub and then i'll be done with it it's not the best investment i'll admit there's other things i could do with my gems but it's the it's a it's a high thing to save up to so i might as well get it over with then i don't have to worry about doing it again because it is something that eventually i'm going to do so why not do it right away so anyways gems are the currency in the game you can go into the market you can buy items here you can refresh in the tavern at the bottom left there to find new generals to spend your gold on. Uh, all different things that you can use it for. You can go into the research factory and buy research stones if you need them. You can go into the top right where your gems are, where I see 82,000 of my gems. Click on it and there's an item shop. And anyone who hasn't seen my previous video on stamina, you should be buying this one right here, Stamina, every day. You should buy 10 of them. So I already did. They cost 200 gems for the first 10. So that's 500 Stamina for 2,000 gems. It's a very good purchase. You should do that every single day. Um, that's probably the most important thing that you can buy with your gems on a daily basis. Also, of course, your shield, right? So you have to put on a truce and those will cost you money as well so you need gems no matter what you're going to do in this game now let's look at how we can obtain obtain gems so one of the first most basic ways you can obtain obtain gems is at the start of the game you're going to get a lot of quests and as you complete them some of them reward you with gems it's not a lot but it is some so most of mine, oh, right, no, that is ore. Let's see if any of these will give me gems if I complete a quest. It's looking like I may have, oh, here's some new ones at the bottom. Kind of looks like I've completed everything that pays out gems, but there are some. but I don't have any looking very closely here, but you will find some of them there that will reward you with gems. Anyways, other areas that you can obtain them is at your wall, this chest right here, click on it. So there's none in there for me now, but every hour I believe, or every half hour this updates and sometimes you get 50 or 100 gems in there. Uh, well, another big way is obviously through money, right? If you click up here on the daily promo right there, you will buy stuff and you can get gems. You can see in that pack, there is 35,000, 35 times 5,000 gems available. And there's other packs as well. If you go down here you'll see everything, almost everything comes with gems. So money obviously is going to get you it. Now, if you play Battlefield and you are lucky enough to obtain some chests, here is a gem chest, I'll open it up and you can see, actually before I open it, let's look at what's inside and you can see the different options for chests. So we'll open it and see what we get. And that is a lot, right? That is 11,000, 5,600, 4,000, and that other one is uh, 5,400, I believe, for the 200. So I just got a lot of gems right there. So thank you very much. And then another thing you could do with Battlefield, some of the rewards you get, you'll get uh, 
dragon crystals and badges, and you can go into the battlefield shop here. And you can refresh and you'll see there are options to purchase gems with your badges and dragon crystals. Now for me, I don't do this uh, because I think the better value, the best value in here is to buy the epic general chests or save your badges because you're going to need them when you upgrade equipment. You can see that they, this costs badges right here. And also, if you're ever going to upgrade your wonder, uh, you need badges as well. You can see the badges right there. So I save badges for that stuff. And dragon crystals I will use on epic generals, not on gems. And then we have the art hall. So if you go into the exhibition hall on here, all of, I'm completed, but normally there'd be some chests here. And as you complete each row, you can earn uh, gems on some of them. They're all different things. So if we go into my general hall, same idea. You can see the chests at the end of the ones that I have yet to complete the rows. So I'm, I've actually completed some rows, but now I, I can't see the prize, but I'm waiting to uh finish building the exhibition hall and get it up to a level and then i'm excited to see what gift i'm going to get in this row 33 that's the next one and then i'm slowly going to get it to 35 just keep it building and get it there and complete those rows and then we also have eggs right crazy eggs every day so Every day you should be clicking on your crazy eggs and you should be activating these. The first one gives you 200, the biggest one gives you 1,000, and then of course the final one gives you 2,000. This adds up a lot. So basically every day you're guaranteed to get at least 3,200 gems from this event. And likely you're going to have to smack this one a couple times or this one and then you'll get even more. Um, and then in King's Path, there's all sorts of areas that may give you gems. Same with in Gathering, maybe Gathering does. But I know King's Path does give you it on the, on one, when one of these days unlocks and it provides you with uh, the stamina burning event. There you will get a lot of gems as well. And then one of the best ways actually is... Does this give you gems? Yeah, so small amount of gems here, but I actually meant to click on the Wheel of Fortune. And if you spin, you'll almost always end up getting some gems. I'm not gonna get lucky here, am I, to show you guys. Let's see, but I'm getting tons of other cool stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna stop here just cause I will need some, actually today is Sunday, Monday, I'll get some new ones, some new uh, tokens. And there we go, we got 200 gems there finally. So that is another area where you can obtain gems and it's actually one of the best ones of the game. And then there's other events that just go on in the game that I can't really cover because there'll be different events like uh, Santa Claus. I'm not sure if Santa has a gem option, but uh, things like this, Civilization. There's different events that come throughout the year and some of them may pay gems, some don't. One of the things that actually is really good is if you win SVS and you get all these chests that surround the temples, I always just go collect the gems. I don't worry about anything else there. I just grab the gems, especially the huge and large ones, and that really pays off. And you can collect about 30, 40,000 gems per SVS if you collect 50 a day for the temples. And then actually just playing SVS pays a lot. And we'll look at the rewards here. So rewards are, is it here at the bottom, get scores? Yeah, so here you can click on these chests and as you go up in points, you'll get rewards. And then also for what place you finish in SVS, you get rewards. And then there's even more rewards for the winning server and they get spread out amongst the top players. 
So that is a very good one, SVS and the temples afterwards. And then we have, uh, I opened all mine. So these are the cards that we just had, the tickets in the last event. And I always do box nine for stamina, but that seems to leave me with tons of box one tickets left. And as you can see, there's gems inside there. And then also box five has gems. And if you look at my, if you look at my inventory, almost all of my 200 gems are from those tickets last event. So that's 89,000 gems, almost all from there or battlefield. So that is a really good way to get them. And then the witch bags, if you do level three witch bag, I believe it is, I'll just open it up right now just to show you guys. So now I have 46 level three bags and this is one of the best ways for stamina and gems. So there's 500 gems in each of the level three uh, bags. And then another really good one is your royal thief every day that will come and give you it, give you, uh, give you some gems. And then one of the easiest ways every weekend, just go visit the world boss, hit the world boss, and you will receive 200 gems minimum every time you hit him. And then you could pay for extra. So for me, I, uh, I'll collect the 800, that's the maximum you get every turn. So I will buy up some more chances at the end. As you can see, I can't attack him right now. I would have to buy more chances and I'm saving one to do a team rally, alliance rally on him because I've already bought up some other ones. So for me, it's just a matter of how much I wanna heal to make it worth my while uh, hitting the world boss. You know, 200 gems, is it worth the probably three days heal I'm gonna have to do on my troops by hitting him and the resources put into it? Probably not, but to get 600 gems it is. So I'll buy up at least one turn doing that. And uh, that's pretty much all the easy ways to obtain gems in the game. I pretty much went over all of them. Uh, there are other special events that do happen, such as this, the Dawn of Civilization. So right there's 5,000 gems. Uh, should be some other gems lower on in here. So doesn't appear. It appears only the 5,000 is the one in here at this moment, but but uh, these things change and this event comes out often and it's always a slightly different uh, way to obtain them. If you get the keys here, you can see there's 500 gem rewards. And then, oh, the one, the two other ways that are actually, uh, I should not overlook these. I don't do this one personally, but you can mine gems on the map. Uh, so I'm just trying to find a gem mine for you. Here's one right here. Let's see who's mining. And it looks like this uh, Alliance is short on finances and short on gems and they are mining for gems. As you can see, it's very slow. I just don't think this is a good commitment. So you're going to mine for, it, it takes a long time. It takes a day or two and you'll get like 300 gems. It's, it's For me, that's just not worth it. I don't think that's uh, something that, uh, uh, let's just say... Uh, players who are good at uh, math and figuring out where the best way to allocate their resources and their time in the game would put their uh, marches for a day. I, uh, I'm just looking for my academy right now and it's right here. Look, oh wow, and I don't have anything going right now. It must have just finished. And if you look in the academy over here on the advancement area, you can actually speed up how quickly you gather gems. Mine is only at the minimum that I needed to get to the next level to do the silo. And, and uh, I just don't think that doing gems is worth it at all. And the other way is relics. Relics can actually give you a lot of resources. So we have a relic that is just 40 kilometers away here. So should be able to find it just by kind of moving around the map. Uh, here it is right here. I actually put that one down. It's uh, got very lucky getting it. But anyways, if you use relics, you'll get gems. But also the really good thing about relics now is this. And you look at the rewards preview. So inside here, you can win lots of gems as well when you're punching away. And it's actually been, become one of the 
best values you can do with your troops. The only time I used to do relics and mine gems is if I was going on holidays for say, say I was traveling for 24 hours and I wouldn't have internet, then I might use a gem mine. Uh, same with a relic, but now I actually use relics all the time. As you can see in my marches, I have two relics out right now and I pretty much keep it like that all the time. I have two on relics all the time and the reason for that is there's other good prizes in there as well. And if you look at the bottom, these generals, I'm very close. I really, really want this guy. I got 28. I should get him in the next day or so. And he works on the barracks and he gives you 5% of everything. And he speeds up troop training, which is very important to me. So that is all the ways that you can get gems for free in the game. So there's no reason to drop your bubble. There's no reason to have a gem shortage. Just play within your means. Don't spend all your gems. Always make sure you have enough for your next bubble. And that's it. You can always trade with people too, right? You can always, oh, look at this. Probably no one even saw that. You can always uh, trade with friends in the Alliance because people can send you gems, right? They can send, let me just click on this guy and see what I could send him. I could send up to 100 gems at a time. So you could trade with somebody or you can ask if you're really short and people might send you a few gems. But that's it. If you think of any other ways that you can get gems, uh, let me know in the comments. And so this is Genghis on server 68. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.